we have a very exciting video for you today. One that I personally have been wanting to do for quite some time. And thank you to all of those of you who sent in questions, because this video could not be happening without you. And we greatly appreciate you doing that. So yes, that we, we could do. Yes, so that we could record this Q&A for you. I've never done a Q&A before, so I'm very excited about this. And we've got quite a few questions here, so we should probably get into it. But first, if you're not subscribed, make sure you go and do that. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. We greatly appreciate it. <laughs> James does not know the questions. I know what they are, but I won't know which ones we're getting in what order, which is why I folded them in here so they could be random. And I'll let you pick out the first one, but you gotta like not really look too close because you'll both to, and they're probably all gonna stick together. Not pick the one that's right on top. <laughs> so the first question is, what are some places you want to travel to together? I don't know. What do you think? Um, well, I know there are a couple. Um, one specifically would be Disney World. Uh, Aaron, of course, loves everything Disney. Uh, I myself, I love Disney as well. Maybe not as much as Aaron, but that definitely is one place I know we want to go to at some point. Hopefully sooner rather than later. So, my first answer would probably be Disney World. That is a great answer, and if any of you have watched my videos, I'm sure you won't be surprised by that response. But, man, where would I, I mean, I honestly would like to travel anywhere and everywhere with him because he just makes everything more fun and enjoyable. But, I think some top places on my mind would be somewhere in Europe, Hawaii, but that could be a tough one because Hawaii is very expensive. Although Europe probably is too, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know, no specific place, but I just look forward to traveling lots of places with him. But of course, Disney's on there too. Yes, I would say one more that um, I know I want to go to some point, and I know Aaron's already been there many, many times, but I have never been to New York City. Oh, yeah. So yes, yeah, so I would like to go to New York City and of course I would love Erin to be my guide because she's been there many times before, knows a lot more about it than I do, um, but I would love to get there, catch a Broadway show with Erin and uh, just get to kind of look around because like I said, it's a place I've always wanted to visit but just have never had a chance to make it to yet, so. That is definitely a good place, especially because I haven't been there in a while. However, me being your guide could be interesting because mm -hmm. even though I've been there many times, I usually wasn't the person leading and I also have a terrible sense of direction, <laughs> but I know we could figure it out. We'll, may, we'll so. make it work somehow. <laughs> yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll pick the next one. Duncan, you're looking very intently. Okay. <laughs> well, this kind of somewhat could go with the last one. What is your favorite theme park? Mine is Disney World, more specifically Magic Kingdom. Ooh, very nice. I would have guessed that for Aaron. <laughs> um, I have a favorite, but I have never been there before. I have always wanted to go to Cedar Point, Ohio, to the theme park they have there because it's got all the best roller coasters, not only in the country, but the world. Um, it is something I've thought about for a long time, so if Aaron is brave enough to go on some roller coasters with me, I would love to make it to Cedar Point, Ohio at some point so I could ride some of the ones they have there. I've never heard of that place. I don't know much about it, but it sounds very interesting. I would definitely be willing to go. However, roller coasters... It depends what kind. If it's like a Disney roller coaster, probably. If it's like a Universal Studios Six Flags roller coaster, I don't know. I don't think Aaron's gonna like it then, because <laughs> it's more, it's like a Six Flags roller oh. coaster, but some are more or even more intense than the Six Flags roller oh, coasters. Oh man, no, oh, that's intense. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know. I'd say I'd want to try for you, but I'm just thinking of Tower of Terror right now. And if it's anything, I know that's not a roller coaster, but if it's anything like those drops, mm -hmm. I'm out. No, well, <laughs> we'll figure it out. If we'll have not, to find some 
thrill ride person to go with us so they can go on the roller coasters with you while I go on the tame ride. That might work. Well, whoever wrote this question, if you want to go to Cedar Point with us and ride some roller coasters with me, we can. Uh, oh, you should do should. <laughs> oh, I get to pick next time. Erin's getting too excited. She's trying know, to read them all. All right. Uh, what are you terrified of, if anything? Um, well, for me, um, I'm just not terrified of anything. I mean, I'm just rock solid through and through. Uh, no emotions here, no, uh, no pain, no gain. Uh, but no, in all seriousness, one thing I'm terrified of are bees. Bees and wasps. They, um, they've never done anything to me to make me want to be terrified of them, but it's just something I'm terrified of. I've always said the reason why I'm so afraid of them is not only do they sting, but they have the advantage because they can fly. Um, so yeah, so that would probably be my the thing that terrifies me the most are bees and wasps. I run away uh, screaming and yelling every time I see one. That's also one of mine. I terrified is a strong word. But I'm definitely afraid of heights, although I've been working on it. I uh, can't say I'm uh, not afraid of them anymore, but I uh, try to push myself out of my comfort zone to get over it. I don't love flying, but do that as well. I guess my biggest one that I don't like to think about a lot, but I'm sure is a common one for many people, is dying. Don't like to think about that one. <laughs> that scares me quite a bit. So. Yeah, I don't know. I Dying, I mean, it is terrifying to think about dying, yeah. but you're really not living much of a life, I think, if you're worrying all the time about death. I mean, live life to the fullest oh, as much yeah. as you can. Yeah, no, I wouldn't say I'm, like, constantly thinking about it. In fact, I've tried to put it out of my mind <laughs> as much as possible. But I do agree with what you're saying in that I think it's very important, I learned this from my mom, that you do want to enjoy your life and make the most of it and you won't do that by being afraid of everything and not having experiences because you're afraid of everything so there you go yes very <laughs> good <laughs> when did you know you were destined to be together oh boy i don't want to go first <laughs> hey you're the answer i've had to answer first every time i've read a question now you have to go i don't know if there was a very specific specific moment for me, but I knew very early on that there was definitely something special about him and that I had a very good feeling about him and a good connection. And I think deep down instinctively, I probably knew very soon, but I would say it was about a month in when I knew for sure. Oh, that's mm -hmm. so sweet. <laughs> I don't feel like I should get my answer now because it wasn't until yesterday. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> For me, I kind of like Aaron. I, I don't think there was a specific time where I knew that Aaron was like the one for me and the who I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. Um, kind of like she said, I mean, the farther along in our relationship, um, the the more and more I knew. When I decided that I wanted to ask Aaron to marry me, I knew at that moment that she was the woman I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. So uh, somewhere around that time is when I definitively knew that Aaron was the one um, I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. Thanks, Aww. babe. How did you two meet? That's a very uh, 21st century um, way of thinking because we um, met uh, online dating. Uh, we both were try. Uh, we were both casually dating, or trying to casually date with other people, um, and I think both of us knew that neither, or even before we met, that neither one of us wanted to go to bars and pick people up, uh, just getting too old for that kind I of stuff. I don't even go to bars. <laughs> yeah, Aaron doesn't even go to bars. I uh, don't really go myself, so we wouldn't have met each other there. But no, so we both, uh, by the grace of everything, um, we both decided to try an online dating site, uh, Match.com. 
Um, I know that when I got on there, I didn't meet Aaron right off the bat, like right when I got on to match, but I think it was... It was within a couple of months or so after I'd been I had been on a few dates with a couple of uh, other people, um, but eventually I was able to uh, get in contact with Aaron uh, through Match. We both liked each other's profile, and it's been true love ever since. Oh, thank you. Yes. Well, from my perspective, we met on Match.com because how else do you meet people other than dating online unless you're super social and meet them at the grocery store or mm -hmm. something, but that wasn't going to happen for me because I don't like to talk to people I don't know. <laughs> I had some very interesting experiences on there, which I have a video about if you want to go watch that. I'll link it up in the cards for you. And so you can hear all about that experience, <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, when I started chatting with the James on there, uh, he was a very good conversationalist, even through texting, which tells you something, because if they can talk through text, they can talk anywhere. And especially when it's not one word answers and they give you good responses. So that was the first sign. Plus, just already could pick up on his great humor through texting, which was another good sign. So yeah, and then it was just, it was just meant to be. It really and was. So. <laughs> and I also want to say I really appreciate Aaron saying how well I did with the texting because ever since we've been together, I've told her just how great of a texter she is and I am very old school with it and I still do like one finger texting. Um, so how I was able to give good responses when, when we first started talking is beyond me. I must have been there for an hour just coming up with one text. Uh, but you know what? It worked out for me, so yes. I'm happy. Yes, I think at that time it wasn't like a constant back and forth because it was still through the Match app. So it'd be like, you'd write something when I could respond. I would write it's more like email almost. Like yeah. you wouldn't necessarily, so you had plenty of time to write it out and think about it. No, oh, oh, yes. <laughs> I, to this day, I still use one finger texting, uh, but she loves me for it. I, I'm like this. That's she, what works the for texting me. machine over here. <laughs> I don't know. I probably wouldn't be good compared to some of these young people. <laughs> but what's the? Ha oh, I don't want to go first on this. What's the happiest memory you all share? Oh man, I can't pick just one because every memory with him and everything that we've done so far in our time together has been a great memory. So it's really hard to pick just one because I always have fun with him, whether we're hanging out here watching a movie or going to a sunflower field or traveling to Florida or whatever else. No, so. oh, well, she just steals all the best answers <laughs> and then I have nothing to say. I would say, of course, I, if, it, if I had to pick a big one, it'd be the day I asked her to marry me. Um, just because I knew at that time that just how much I loved her and how happy she made me and I, tr I truly knew I c would never find anyone even remotely close to as amazing as Aaron is so uh, that would be my highlight the day I asked her to marry me because now I got the whole rest of my life to be next to this beautiful oh, woman. Oh, and now I'm going to cry. Oh, <laughs> don't cry. What is your least favorite food? Oh, that's uh, that's pretty easy. I got a couple of I got a couple of um, foods that I've just never been a fan of, and I don't think I probably ever will be. The first one would be Brussels sprouts. My parents used to not they didn't force feed them to us, but they used to make me eat them when I was younger, and I would start crying and crying, and I just thought it was they, they were asking the world of me. To eat these Brussels sprouts. I, would a I, w I was able to choke them down at the time, but now being an adult and having that choice to whether or not I eat Brussels sprouts or not, I choose not to. Um, my second food would be mushrooms. Uh, James does not like mushrooms. I don't know why. I think it's more the texture of them, um, but I have just never been a fan of mushrooms. I can live the rest of my life never having another mushroom and I, I will be okay with that. So those would be my two foods. For me, the first one that comes to mind might surprise a lot of people, but it is steak. I don't like steak. 
therefore I don't eat it. And I'm trying to think what other foods I don't like. I know there's some out there, but they're not coming to mind at the moment. I don't really eat pork, but that doesn't mean I won't eat bacon. <laughs> so, uh, Quite the hypocrite over here. I'm kidding. I mean, they're totally different. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Can you think of anything else? I'm like, ugh, I don't like that. I can't think of anything. There's lo probably lots of things I don't like. Um, I don't... Aaron doesn't like steak. James doesn't like fat on a steak. Okay. Never have, and I've had family members look at me weird and always ask me like, why don't you like the fat on the steak? It's the best oh. part, it's got the most flavor. Well, I think for me again, it's more of a texture thing. Um, I, it feels like I'm chewing on a piece of rubber. That's yeah. why I don't, and that's, I've always thought that way, so. Um, if I do eat steak, uh, I usually try to go the fancier route and get uh, a filet mignon because that rarely has no fat on at all on it, so that's why I love it so much. So yeah, another one of mine would be fat on a steak. I just don't like it. That just made me think of other things. So <clears throat> I need to clarify that I don't like steak, but I will eat a cheeseburger. And I'll eat a steak and cheese sub, but it's different because steak, regular however you eat it steak, is very different than a steak and cheese sub where it's like shredded. Because I think the big thing for me with steak is a lot of texture, but steak and cheese sub, I don't mind. Which also made me think of another thing that I don't like but do like. Because I don't like ham, as in like put it on your sandwich ham but I will eat a baked ham, like on Easter or something. So I don't know, I'm just an odd one. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Oh man, you get all the easy ones and I get like the deep, heartfelt ones. <laughs> Gives me a chance to think I about know, it. I know, I hate being put on the spot. <laughs> what is your favorite thing about each other? Well again, I can't just pick one. I still feel like I'm still getting used to this whole camera thing. Like, do I look at the camera? Like while you're talking or do I look at you while you're talking? Do I kind of do a little back and forth like look at you for a couple seconds? Maybe look at the camera for a couple seconds then look back at you. I mean, I just don't want to I'm still very new at all. This. I don't think there's a right or wrong But I've also been wondering the same thing in this video because I'm used to only looking at the camera when I'm talking to you mm -hmm. but with you be being here and I was thinking the same thing as you were answering one time. I was like, should I be looking there at you? I don't really know right now. So I'm just kind of doing what feels right. But okay. well, uh, <laughs> hopefully uh, maybe you guys can write some comments in there. Tell me what it is I'm supposed to do. <laughs> what do I do with my hands? Do they just oh, like, do I just put them here? I, I don't you know. You do whatever you want. Cause have you seen my videos? My hands are like <laughs> all over the place. I'd rather have someone who is more, um, what was the word animated? I'm looking for? Animated, rather than if we were just sitting here like stone cold, like looking Today like a couple of. We're going to talk to you about. Got my farmer pitchfork, and we're just sitting here like. And we're gonna do it very seriously. I'm not right. And yes, you can hold your farmer's pitchfork. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. A serious pitchfork farmer. I feel like. You being here is bringing out my weirdness more, and it's gonna show it to them more when I usually like keep that in a little bit for oh, videos. No. But now what they're gonna do? see the real full me. <laughs> oh, hey. Not that I like am not me in my videos, because I am, but I'm just letting it all go today, apparently. Hey, I mean, <laughs> that's what happens when you get James around, <laughs> yes. all bets are off. Yes. But, anyways, back to the question, <laughs> uh, which was, what is my favorite thing about him? I love many things about James, but the first one that comes to mind is his sense of humor and the fact that no matter what mood I'm in, which I hope I'm not usually in a bad mood, but I, whether I'm already feeling happy, whether I'm kind of having a downer day, whether I'm annoyed about something, he always can make me smile and laugh. And as I've said in other vlogs or videos, not just laugh like ha ha ha, a little chuckle, like full belly laugh falling on the floor, crying my eyes out because I'm laughing so hard. And I don't know that I've ever known anybody before him that's been able to do that. So that's quite a nice thing because laughter is really good for you and really good for making you feel happy and positive. So that's one really good thing. Uh, another thing is that in somehow maybe he has like a calm, relaxed demeanor about him, but I just feel more 
at peace and calm and relaxed whenever he's around me. Which, if you know me, I don't want to say I'm an uptight or anxious person because I don't think that. But I can tend to like stress out about things that maybe I shouldn't be stressing out about and he helps me not do that so much and also not be so <coughs> rigid with my routines and things because when I'm with him I just want to relax and hang out and chill and the routine goes out the window <laughs> so not all the time but like, especially because we only see each other on weekends right now so yes but oh man I could just go on forever and ever he's smart and kind and yeah, I don't know. I really could go on forever and ever, but we have to cut this video off at some point. So your turn. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, again, Aaron stole all my answers. Oh, um, I'm not funny. <laughs> just look at her. What are you saying over here? Of course, there are many things that I cherish about Aaron. Uh, some of the big ones um, is how kind she is. She's so kind um, to everybody that she meets. Um, not even just, not even human beings, but, uh, even animals, uh, she's just so kind to any person, any, any person she's around, she's just so kind and understanding, um, one, uh, something else would be, um, how responsible she is, she does a great job of getting things done, um, making sure things get done, um, especially important things, because I myself, I have always been a little bit of a procrastinator, or I tend to forget things, or I will s say I have to do something, and then I f totally forget about me having to do it, and then at the last second I'm like, oh geez, I still have to do that. Well, Erin is the complete opposite of that. She knows when things need to get done. She keeps a good list of when stuff has to get done. And I think in a way, that's what makes us work so well together is because a lot, she is the yin to my yang. She, um, I can be lazy and procrastinate at times. She can be the one who tells me, hey, get off, off your butt and we gotta get this, <laughs> this, this done today. Kind of like this video. <laughs> I was taking a nap earlier. Now I'm recording a video. If it was up to me, I would've just kept napping. But she's the responsible one, so now we're making this video. Um, so... You are very responsible, <laughs> babe. Don't tell yourself you <laughs> But... I guess kind of to end it all, I mean, like she was saying, there's just so many things I could say about her. Um, how kind and sweet and caring and understanding. Her patience um, with me specifically because I know I'm not the easiest at times. Um, and maybe, and it's hard to explain, but it just, there's just something about her that just makes me love her more and more every day that we're with each other. Oh, thank you. I love you. All right. This one says, uh, what are your favorites? Color, music, treat, memory, restaurant, fast food, and recording artists. Okay, so take them one at a time. So like, we'll say favorite color, and then we'll go to the next one. Favorite color. My favorite color is black. Why? It goes with everything. Hence, we're both wearing black. <laughs> Mine is pink. Oh, yep, and <laughs> pink and black. No, no, just pink. Oh, I'm wearing, kind of wearing both our favorite colors. I know, thanks, Aaron, for wearing my favorite color. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, favorite type of music. Um, that's a hard one because I like a little bit of everything. I guess I would say 90s, like 90s rock. Ursa because that's kind of the that's the decade I grew up in with like the music and stuff so um, I remember listening to like a lot of like Nirvana and like Alice in Chains and uh, like just a lot of like 90s like rock or alternative rock so I guess that would be my favorite genre but like I said I enjoy all sorts of music from country to rap and R&B, so. All right, and I also like 
quite a variety of music. It's probably easier for me to say what I don't like versus what I do like. And really the only things I don't like are heavy rap and screamo music, where they're just like, ha ah, ha, all the time. I even listen to screamo <laughs> music and heavy rap. So like I said, if, I, if there was a music that I don't listen to as much as others, it would probably be country. Um, I do like older country, some of the older musicians of country, but uh, like new age country, not much of a fan of, which is surprising considering I spent 20, of my, uh, 20 years of my life living in Oklahoma, so you'd think I'd be a huge country music fan by now, but I think living in Oklahoma <laughs> just pushed me off country music even more, so. I could be, because I grew up where up here nobody listened to country music, and now as an adult it's trickled up here more, especially when it became more poppy. Mm -hmm. But as a kid, we didn't even have country music stations up here that I knew of. But Now they probably have multiple. Oh, they do, yeah. All my right. music, I was saying. <laughs> um, so I told you what I don't like, but my all-time favorite is probably pop. I mean, Taylor Swift is on repeat on my phone right now, so there you go. All right, good good choice. I like it. <laughs> All right, favorite treat. Um, I would say there's two of them. I was actually that's it's surprising. This is one of the questions because I was talking about this yesterday uh, with my mom. Um, my two favorites are Reese's peanut butter cups, and then my ultimate favorite is Mr. Goodbar. I tried a Mr. Goodbar long. Gosh, it seems like 20 years ago I tried one, fell in love with it, and it's been a favorite of mine ever since. Good choice. Oh, favorite treat. Mom, this is not nice of you making me pick this because I know you couldn't pick one. Because I like so many. I like cookies, brownies, ice cream, candy. I can't pick one. They're all delicious. Anything sweet. Yeah, well, I completely feel like I like <laughs> answered the question wrong <laughs> Because when wrong. I was thinking of treat, I was thinking like a Halloween treat or something, <laughs> something like that, like a candy bar. <laughs> um, but I also, I really do love cheesecake. I love cheesecake. If I, uh, if anyone has recommendations on where I can find the best cherry cheesecake around, please let me know because that is my favorite type of cheesecake is cherry cheesecake. They're probably going to tell you New York. Isn't New York like a cheesecake cup? I don't know. I've never been there. Well. Not New York City. I used to live in New York, but upstate New York. I meant New York City. I think it, or maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's another city. But anyway, yeah, mm. we'll find you some good cherry cheesecake, even though I only like cheesecake if there's chocolate or coffee involved with it. Oh, well, we'll make sure we have some, we'll find some coffee cheesecake. There you go. <laughs> uh, my favorite memory. Like, it, not with me, but like ever in your life. My favorite memory from my whole, whoo, man. Or if um, you can't pinpoint one, just pick a few favorites. One of mine would be meeting Erin. Uh, she is the love of my life, and getting to meet her is the best thing that's ever happened to me. So the day I got to meet Erin, that would be one of my favorite memories. Something else would be... The day I graduated basic training for the, for the Army, um, at that time in my life, I really still wasn't sure what I wanted to do, so I joined the military, I get into basic training, I didn't think the Army was for me, I didn't think I could make it through basic training, um, I didn't really think I was military material. Um, but once I made it through basic training, my parents, my sister, my niece, they f drove, I want to say, they drove to where I was at in basic, uh, in Kentucky. Uh, they went to my graduation and it was just, it was a proud moment in my life, uh, was the fact that I graduated through basic and then spent the next seven, seven and a half years in the, in the army, so... Just gradual, just being in the army in general, I would say, is was a great memory of mine because I got to meet a lot of great people, a lot of great experiences, got to travel, um, and I'll leave it up to Aaron to answer the rest of it because I feel like I'm just dragging on. No, you're fine. Uh, I mean, I have so many wonderful memories, of course, meeting James and spending time with him, but... A lot of my fondest memories, I would say, would have to be... Oh, hi, sir. 
would have to be just time spent with family. To narrow it down to specifics is hard because I'll be here for another hour telling you about it, but just time with my family as a kid growing up, even now as an adult, and yeah, just doing things with them, whether that be playing board games or going on trips. Or, but yeah, and then I think another good memory, just because it was such a special experience, would be when I spent a summer in Manhattan going to a school there uh, for film and television, funny enough. And I think I was only 16 or 17 at the time, which now looking back, I'm like, how did my parents ever let me do that? Let me go live in Manhattan at 16 or 17 by myself when I had never been outside my little hometown. <laughs> Didn't really have a lot of street smarts, but somehow I survived. And yeah, it was a good time, good experience, met a lot of great people there. And yeah, it's hard to narrow your whole life down to like one favorite memory because there's just a lot of good ones, which I guess is a good thing, so. Definitely. <laughs> Favorite restaurant, um, that's hard. We go out to eat, I mean, uh, we go to restaurants, but it, it's not something where we, we're going all over the place trying out new restaurants all the time. So we're not I, foodies. I we're not, yeah, say. not huge foodies. My eating habits are off the wall. One day I'm hungry, the next day I could just eat rice cakes. I don't need anything <laughs> fancy. <laughs> Rice She's cake. never seen me eat a rice cake. I just <laughs> randomly said it, but no, I don't eat rice cakes either. Um, I feel like I should have made us do this one rapid fire. Like, just say it. Memory. Restaurant. Fast food. Because I feel like this is going to be the longest video ever and everyone's going to have tuned out by now. I know. They're, oh my gosh. All right. So, favorite restaurant, if I had to pick one, it'd probably be Cheesecake Factory. First, they have a giant menu. There's something on there for everybody. Second, they have a bunch of cheesecake, and I can choose from all the cheesecakes I ever could think of. There you go. I don't have a favorite, but probably anywhere that serves Italian food. Sounds good to me. <laughs> all right, favorite fast food place. I'd say my favorite fast food place, um, they don't have them up here in New England. They do have them down south uh, where I originally grew up, but it would be uh, Chick-fil-A. They do uh, have those up here. Well, they... Not very many of them, but there's a couple. There is a couple up here, but they, uh, there are a lot, you can find a lot more of them down, uh, down south. They're not on every corner, yeah. Um, but uh, Chick-fil-A, I love their uh, waffle fries. All right. I don't really eat a lot of fast food, but I guess of the ones I can choose from here, Wendy's is probably my favorite, but I really don't go there very often. Um, last one, favorite recording artist. That is a tough one. Um, it could also be a band if you don't want to choose a single person. Okay, if I if I could say, oh gosh, I mean it kind of goes along with the music. I listen to so much different music and there's so many, so many songs or albums that I really enjoy, but one band that I've always been a fan of, um, uh, and my dad talked about them when I was younger, uh, would be CCR, Credence Clearwater Revival. Always been a bit, uh, John Fogarty is great, a uh, vocalist, and I've always loved CCR songs. All right, speaking of songs and music, before I give you my answer, that reminded me. We do not have a specific particular song for our wedding dance yet. I mean, we have ones that we could choose, but you don't have a song that's like our song necessarily. So if you have really good suggestions that aren't overdone, let me know in the comments and I'll check them out. Yes, Because it's please. really hard to narrow it down. It really is. Okay. All right. My favorite, Taylor Swift, if you couldn't have guessed. Britney at one time was a favorite. She didn't come out with anything new in a while, and well, she'll always have a place in my heart from when I was younger. Taylor holds the throne now. Oh, sorry, Brittany. It's all about Tay Tay. <laughs> oh my God. Well, this is this is okay. So we're not gonna say favorite things because we just said all that. Mm -hmm. But what do you enjoy doing together? I don't know if we already answered this. We might have answered something similar, but I enjoy doing anything with him, which I think I touched on. I enjoy playing cards, watching movies, going on day trips. He makes the grocery store more fun, which for me is unbelievable because I don't like going to the grocery store. And he, I don't even think he does anything in particular intentional. It's just more fun being with him. So, yeah, I mean, there's nothing I don't like doing with him. 
Even chores he would make more fun. I, I'm just a fun person. Because he'd have me laughing. So. <laughs> um, for me, something... Uh, It'd probably be the same thing, um, is I enjoy everything that I do with Erin. I, when I do see her, if we're out and we're going to a festival or to a store, uh, even if it, even if it's the grocery store, um, I just, being with her, I love every second that I am with her. Um, but, like I said, going out, doing all those sorts of fun things, I love doing. Sitting at home under a blanket, watching a show or a movie, uh, just as enjoyable. Um, just because, like I said, I'm with her, and anytime I'm with Erin, I'm having the best day of my life. So oh, that's that I'm gonna stick with that answer. I feel the same, babe. <laughs> okay, we got two more. Two we more questions. This video's only gonna Is be like gonna an hour this long. Whole thing? <laughs> probably, I probably won't. I will. Oh, many no. times. I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. What was your first date? So our first physical date, we went to an Italian restaurant. Uh, she had these leather boots on that I thought were very nice. I really <laughs> liked them. Um, and it was, uh, so it was a little Italian restaurant. We had a great time. I think we were there for a couple of hours um, talking and everything. Um, but I, truthfully, in a way, I wouldn't even consider that our first date because we had a video, like, a video first date before we even met each other in person because, like we said earlier in the video, we both met through, uh, Match.com and before kind of taking that next step of, uh, meeting up and going out on a, uh, actual, uh, person-to-person, -person, uh, physical date, uh, we decided that maybe we could break things in a little bit easier by maybe doing a video date first. Also, I had to make sure he wasn't a catfish. Again, go watch that online dating video mm -hmm. if you want to know more. Yes. Luckily, he was not a catfish. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I on match, I sold myself off as a tall, dark, handsome <laughs> man. Um... I, I just, uh, the only part I lied about was being tall or dark or handsome. Stop um, no. But no, I, I really, it's, it's surprising because I really loved our first video date. Um, I even bought flowers for her and I showed them on the video. I was like, here, I bought some flowers it for was you. so sweet and so unexpected and I totally blushed and totally loved it so much. <laughs> I know, she fell in love with me that second. <laughs> she said, video flowers? I love I was them. Like, you brought flowers to our virtual date. That's the sweetest thing Aww. ever. But uh, so yeah, so to try to make a, a short, a long answer short, uh, I will say, um, like I said, our first date was physical date, Italian restaurant. First real official date was our video date, and it's been love ever since. Yes, which I was wondering if you were going to remember that one and mention it, and I feel good that you did, because I was going to also mention that, and how that was nice to kind of break the ice and see each other face to face without actually like being in person. But then in person was great too, because of course I was nervous, because I haven't dated much in my life, to be honest. I was nervous because I'm kind of a shy, introverted person when I first meet people, but something about him, I just immediately felt comfortable, felt like I could talk, didn't feel like I had to be awkward or like I felt like I could be myself, so that was very nice. And that's all I want her to be is just to be herself and I truthfully, every, when she is herself, that's the Aaron I love the most. Oh, thank But you. I love Aaron in all aspects. Oh, you're very sweet. <laughs> Okay, Last final question. question. Let's hope it's not a long one. Oh, oh it's, a, it's an easy, quick one. Oh, man, thank goodness. Yes. Will you have a big or small wedding? We are having a small wedding with just very few close people to us because it is going to be in Florida, and understandably, it's difficult for people to travel, and... Already things haven't gone according to plan, but we're going to get it figured out. But yes, it's going to be a smaller wedding. Yes. I, um, it's not like I could say a different answer. <laughs> I, uh, I mean, I so we're, like we're both going to be there. Um, 
I've always I hope. Don't leave me on my own. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're both gonna be there, hopefully. <laughs> always kind of wanted a smaller wedding. I'm not big into huge flash. Uh, something my parents had always told me and something I... I, I like is um, I'd rather big weddings cost big money um, if I were to spend small my money aren't cheap either. yeah small weddings aren't <laughs> cheap either um, but if I were to spend big amounts of money on something like that I would rather spend big money on our honeymoon rather than the wedding um, that being said though um, the small wedding we're gonna have it's gonna be amazing and of course, the big reason why that is, is just the fact that I get to marry my best friend. And I'd marry my best friend in a dumpster if I had to. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I love Erin and I just want to marry her. Oh. <coughs> now I lost all my thoughts. I oh, I know about your con- So I agree. I think you should I mean, if you want to have a big extravagant wedding, if that's your thing, go for it. If you have the money for that, even better. But I do think it, for me, it would be more memorable to put it into like a trip or honeymoon or something like that. Plus, use that money for hopefully getting a house one of these days. Yes, yes. Duncan's just taken over the place, so he's going to need more space to roam around. I know. We need we need th three bedrooms minimum. <laughs> Duncan one, needs his own room. <laughs> one for me and her, one for my man cave, and one for Duncan. I know. Except the funny thing is, we'll give him his own room, and he'll go in every other room, but you watch. Yeah, the one room that he'll never want to go into will be the room that we designated just for him. Exactly. But I can't blame him because, in the words of Ariel, he wants to be where the people are. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Good, a nice quote, babe. <laughs> but anyways, this is probably the longest video. Well, maybe not, but one of the longest videos I've ever made. But for me, it's gone by so fast because it's so fun when I get to record with you. And I have to say, you've done a fantastic job because Aww. I know this isn't your thing that you're used to doing. No. And you were so natural and such a trooper for hanging in there for this long video <sighs> and giving great thorough responses which I'm very impressed by because many of guys and based on the the texting dynamic it could have been me blabbering on for hours and him being like yes no yes no and it wasn't that so fantastic job babe thank you I really appreciate it well I know I Aaron's done a lot more of uh, these types of videos, or just videos in general. I have a lot of um, practice, seven years practice. I myself, you've seen me in a few of these. Uh, I'm usually the awkward guy in the background not saying much, so hopefully you've enjoyed me talking a little bit more. <laughs> All right, we gotta stop talking because I could go on and on and on forever. But thanks for watching and being interested in what we have to say, hopefully. Thanks again for submitting your questions. Don't forget to hit that like button. So well, thank you all for the questions. Uh, we really appreciate it. Uh, we really hope you enjoyed this video. And again, yes, please like that like button. We won't try to fist bump again because it didn't work out great the first time. It wasn't a fist bump. It was like a, a, a high thumb. five with thumbs. A high five. <laughs> high five with thumbs. I love it. Have a great day. Yes. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.